Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mummy morning routine. This has been highly requested and if you guys like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. So most mornings Noah wakes me up around 6, 6.30ish. Um, it's a great photo alarm actually so normally I'll pray and then jump back into bed. Some days he goes back to sleep and other days he'll just climb all over me and just want to wake up and go eat breakfast and play. I do try and pretend like I'm sleeping in the hope that he might come back to bed. Doesn't always work though. <coughs> so the first thing that we do in the morning is change Noah's wet nappy, get him out of his uncomfortable nappy and get him into a clean one. Um, and he doesn't poo until he's got a clean nappy on. Getting a nappy on him recently has been such a struggle. He just moves around so much and I have to give him something to distract him. Sometimes he's absolutely fine and sometimes he just, I don't know why it is, he just doesn't want it changed. Once he has a clean nappy on though, we'll head into the bathroom where we wash our face and brush our teeth. He has two little teeth poking out now so he does have a baby toothbrush. He has no idea how to use it and as soon as I give it to him, he starts biting on it and I have to be careful because otherwise he ends up making himself sick, which is just so typical. Before we head off into the kitchen, I do try and make the bed. I just feel so much better when the bed is made um, and it just makes me feel like I'm starting the day with a clean mind if that makes sense um, because if I then have to go back to the bedroom and the bedroom's made even if the rest of it is a mess it looks like it's tidy we don't normally tend to have breakfast straight away so when I do head off into the living room I will give Noah his toys um, let's be real he doesn't want them he's not interested in his toys he has a mat and he has like a playing gym and all of these cuddly toys and every time I go out I'm tempted to buy him more but I've stopped um, because as you can see right now, he's happy playing with the keys. That's what he wants to play with. I have to make sure that I put all of the wires away when I put his play mat down uh, because he loves chewing wires. If the phone or the laptop is plugged in, he will head straight for it and pull the wire out. And obviously it's really dangerous if the plug is on as well. So I have to be so careful and keep an eye on him at all times. Um, I do try though. I do try and put all of his toys out and get him to play with it. I don't have much luck. You'll see him heading off. Um and trying to catch up with me in a second. He'll literally be on the mat on his own for one second and then he wants me again. So as you guys can probably see in the background, I've had to put TV on for him. I promised myself I wouldn't be that mum that puts TV on for her kids all the time. And I don't do it all the time. I do try and limit, to how, limit him to how much he watches. Um, but I do give in sometimes. It's the only way to distract him when I, whilst I quickly tidy up. Most of the time I'll tidy the living room and the kitchen before we go to bed. Um, but sometimes there's stuff to do early in the morning. As you can see, he's really not playing with his toys, he is just more into the TV. Um, before I make breakfast, I'll take Noah back into the bedroom and quickly change his nappy because he's probably done a poo. Once again, a little bit of a struggle and I have to distract him. But we get there in the end, like we do always. So whilst Noah's playing, I thought I will try and shoot some content. This morning, I'm shooting some pictures for Pandora. Um, I'm creating some content for them for my Instagram. I was really excited about this campaign because this bracelet here that I'm showing you guys, this was actually a gift from Noah. It's the first thing he ever bought me and it's an Eid present and it's got a little mum charm and a little Winnie the Pooh charm on it and it's so special to me because it really reminds me of him. So I was super excited when they reached out and wanted to um, collab on their holiday range. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the charms that I chose from the new collection. This is a dangly charm. It's got gems all on the hoop bit that goes on the bracelet. Then it's got a little snowflake and the message underneath says, you melt my heart, um, which is so true. No, it does melt my heart. And I just thought it would be a perfect addition to my bracelet and the charms that I have on there already. The second charm is from the Grace Missing Space collection. Um, the charm underneath is blue and the charm on top is a snowflake and it's once again got gems on the hoop bit. This has also got a message on the back and once again it's a message that I love and it says the best is yet to come um, and I feel like that that could apply to Noah too. Um, so these charms honestly like I just feel like they're the perfect additions to this bracelet. I've taken my current charms off the bracelet and I'm going to put everything back on again. I want to put the dangly ones in the middle of the other ones to even everything out. Um. So I did pick up another couple of pieces from the Luminous Ice collection. This is the Glass or Beauty ring. Um, it's got gems, as you guys can see, I reckon about two thirds of the way around the ring. 
Um, it's simple, yet yeah, I feel like it's just so elegant and feminine and perfect for this time of year. And this is the bracelet. I love the bracelet because it's not a simple straight line. Um, I just feel like it looks really elegant and goes really well with the ring and my charm bracelet. So for breakfast, I'm going to be honest, most of the time it's Weetabix. Weetabix for Noah and Granola for me, I'm trying to be healthy recently. Um, but obviously because I was like filming today and I had a bit more time as well, I thought why don't I do something more filling and more healthy and we did eggs and avocado and toast. Noah doesn't like eggs. On this day he actually ate them which I was really surprised about um, but in, in the past I've mixed the eggs up with beans, I've mixed them with other things, I've tried scrambled and boiled and sunny side up and everything and he hasn't had them so um, yeah I was kind of surprised that he had them on this particular day. So midway cutting the avocados, um, he wanted to be picked up, he called over and was like literally clinging onto my legs. So I picked him up, gave him a hug, um, engaged with him for a bit, played with him for a bit and then tried putting him down. And the hardest thing is, he does this quite a lot. I don't know why he never used to be clingy, but I'll be in the middle of doing something and it's something that I have to do, like housework or other work or anything. And he'll come over and all he wants is just for me to hold him whilst he watches TV or hold him whilst he plays and then as soon as I put him down he starts crying but it's so hard to get anything done when he's like this and I just feel so so bad. I'm also having some fresh orange juice with breakfast um, just because for example I bought a juicing machine recently and I feel like I need to get my money's worth out of it so I'm not buying juice anymore I'm just buying the fruit um, and orange juice obviously this time of year when there's bugs going around everywhere and you need that vitamin C it's a great way to get that into your body. This is what he loves playing with, this Turkish tea set. And he fell over, and because I wasn't like standing here and I could, he couldn't see me, he didn't cry. If I was standing next to him, he would have cried so much. So I tend to give Noah food at breakfast to feed himself or to hold himself. This is the only time of the day that I let him feed himself. I don't let him feed himself throughout the rest of the day. I know for some mums they're gonna be like, oh my God why are you doing that like you need to let him feed himself um but for me i'd much rather just feed him feed him myself no matter how much he's eating and keep his clothes clean so in the morning when obviously he's still in his pajamas he's still in his night clothes i let him eat himself i do feed him as well so that i know he's getting enough but um i kind of let him eat by himself as well i know obviously not everybody agrees with that but i guess that's the beauty of motherhood every baby's different and every mum is different and we all do things differently we all do things that work work for us and they might not necessarily work for somebody else um but yeah just just do whatever whatever makes you happy and whatever works best for you so after breakfast a quick a little wash up in the mornings i do try and do some work as well so whether that's responding to emails sending over content for approvals going through contracts sending over proposals that sort of thing normally with a coffee or a red bull because i need the energy um sometimes i can get loads done if noah's in a good mood and he's playing or he's watching tv i get loads done sometimes like this particular day i get very little done i literally get like three emails and then i have to get up because he just wants to attack the laptop um for some reason he absolutely loves it he's pulled out the d key and he's damaged the c key already um he has no idea what he's doing and as soon as he gets his hands on it it's just tap 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 everywhere um, but I do feel bad when I am working and he wants my attention. So a lot of the times, unless it's something urgent, I do try and put the laptop away and just do it when he's more distracted or when he's asleep. So normally two to two and a half hours after he wakes up, he will get, be ready for bed again. And um, so I think it was in, around nine o'clock I made his milk um, and then I'll take him back into the bedroom and lie him down and he'll go down for his nap. Um, his nap time really varies. Sometimes he's only asleep for half an hour to an hour that's quite rare in the mornings if he's at home and he's um feeling himself and he's happy and comfortable he will literally sleep for like two to three hours um which is amazing for me because it gives me time to do the things that i need to do um but if he's you know not well or if there's noise or if he's not at home then he won't sleep the full full two to three hours so once he is asleep i'll have a quick tidy up of everything else around the apartment um i'll do the hoover and then I will jump in the shower and get my makeup on. 
I always get asked how I have time to get ready and do makeup with a baby. Um, and the secret is just doing it when he's asleep. This is what I've done since he was absolutely tiny. Um, wearing makeup just makes me feel like myself. It makes me feel better. So I make sure that I take time to do it most of the time. So once I'm ready, I'll probably do some work until Noah wakes up. Once he's up, I will get, get him out of bed and get him ready. I don't give him a bath during the day. I tend to give him a bath before bedtime because I feel like it really calms him down, puts him to sleep. I do try and take some time out to play with him with the phone and the laptop away so that he knows it's just me and him and he's got my full attention. I'm just going to pack Noah's bag before we leave. So I've got some snacks, some raisins, um, some food patches because I'm probably going to give him his lunch whilst we're out. Um, a muslin cloth, a little playbook so that like I can put that on the push chair so that he's got something to play with. Some cowpaw and some granules. Where are the granules gone? Like just a couple of um, packets of teething granules so that if his teeth do start irritating when, when he's out, then he's got something. And then obviously his little giraffe as well so that he can chew on that. And then this, because when I'm feeding him, he pinches the hell out of my face. So my friend Alma got him this um, and he will just play around with it. And then obviously some nappies and some wipes and then I'm going to put some hot water in here and then by the time we get into town I'll hopefully cool down. Just going to pack all of his stuff now. Honestly the amount of times that I've packed his stuff and we leave the house and I've, <laughs> I've forgotten something is crazy. Um, baby brain is real. I never believed it before I had a baby but I do forget things all the time. Um, I'm going to put his hat and his coat on. Getting his coat on is a struggle. He hates Hello. wearing it and he'll normally cry or wind or like hold his legs up so that I can't get them into his coat so yeah it's, it's not the most fun experience but we are heading off into town as part of my campaign with Pandora I am getting to choose a gift for a blogger friend so I'm literally going into town to pick that now um, I try and walk it when I can because I feel like it's really good to get exercise and get some fresh air for myself and for Noah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, and let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like me to film with Noah. Um, and I'll see you all soon, inshallah. Bye.